Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number one, Senator Ali Indume, representing APC Bornu South, has called for a 50% slash of federal lawmaker's salary to meet the pressing demands of the Academic Staff Union of Universities. Dume met the call while reacting to the alleged half pay for academic staff in Madugri on Thursday. He advised President Muhammadu Bari's regime to constitute a high-powered standing committee of respected educationists and patriotic Nigerians to meet with the ASU leadership to address lingering burning issues. He noted that lawmakers only assemble twice or so per week to get paid. At number two, a higher court of the Federal Capital Territory has vacated the contempt proceeding that led to the conviction and committal of the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, in prison. The court in a ruling delivered on Thursday by Justice Chizo Oji set aside the order following an application brought by the EFCC boards. In its ruling, the court said it was satisfied that the EFCC chairman did not spurn its others as alleged. Consequently, it voided the contempt case against the EFCC boards. Recalling Justice Oji had in a ruling she delivered since November 21, 2018, ordered the commission to return exotic vehicle to AVM Ojuawu, who was facing trial. At number three, aviation workers' unions on Thursday reiterated their displeasure against the federal government's plan to concession four major international airports coupled with a new agenda to demolish aviation agencies' offices in Lagos. The workers under the aegis of the National Union of Air Transport Employees, Air Transport Services Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, and the Association of Nigeria Aviation Professionals said details of the concession plan have proved itself serving and anti-Nigeria. The coalition at a peaceful rally in Lagos called on the Federal Executive Council to suspend the aviation roadmap plan and conduct forensic investigation of actions so far taken by Aviation Minister Hadi Sirika. Recall the government recently announced preferred and reserved bidders for the concession of Lagos, Abuja and Kano Airport. At number four, the federal government on Thursday said a report by the International Governmental Panel on Climate Change revealed that many coastal megacities, including Lagos, Port Harcourt and others, would witness weather catastrophe by 2050. The Minister of Environment, Mohamed Abdullahi, disclosed this during a side event on scaling up climate change adaptation in Nigeria. Organized by the Federal Ministry of Environment in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development at the ongoing COP27 event in Egypt. Abdullahi stated that it is obvious that the challenges of climate change were enormous, adding that no individual ministry could confront the challenges alone. It however stated that it was taking steps to mitigate this through the provision of information on future actions required by cities that projected to be affected by the climate change effects. At number five, some hoodlums have set ablaze the office of the Independence National Electoral Commission at Ogun Anushun. Reacting to the incident, Commissioner for Information and Voter Education of the agency, Festus Okoye, in a statement on Thursday, disclosed that about 65,699 uncollected permanent voters' cards were destroyed by the hoodlums. He added that the police and other security and safety agencies were on top of the situation and had begun investigation. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening. <music>